What happened to Psy after Gangnam Style? How did Gangnam Style change his life? Where is he now? In 2012, Psy shot to international fame after releasing Gangnam Style. This single from his sixth studio album, Psy 6, Six Rules, sold millions of copies. The music video went viral, and his K-pop star became a household fixture. But following the tremendous success of that song in the United States, you may be thinking Psy, whose real name is Park Jae Sang, has all but disappeared. Let's find out what the man behind the K-pop earworm has been up to. Gangnam Style, singer, became a tourism ambassador. After putting South Korea in the international spotlight, the country tapped Psy to be its tourism ambassador in 2013, according to CNN. In lieu of a hefty payday, the music star accepted minimum payment. Psy's appointment replaced Kenny G, who, oddly enough, was the face of South Korea tourism in 2012. At the same time, Psy wasn't a stranger to important duties as he held the same honorary title for Seoul's Gangnam District in 2012. His appointment also opened doors for other business deals, most notably his ambassadorship for Asiana Airlines for 2013. <laughs> Gangnam Style Singer or Alcoholic While Psy has enjoyed the spotlight and all the perks that come with fame, he's also battled a seemingly dark side. In 2013, he confessed his alcohol intake to the Sunday Times. His attitude about drinking proved to be shocking, particularly in light of the constant positive press surrounding his name. If I'm happy, I'm drinking. If I'm sad, I'm drinking, Psy explained. If it's raining, I'm drinking. If it's sunny, I'm drinking. He claimed that the only time he's not attached to booze is when he's hungover. His beverages of choice include whiskey, vodka, and tequila. The interview also exposed his constant smoking habit, something that's thought to ruin a singer's voice. Psy is no longer the king of YouTube. Psy's Gangnam Style didn't just break multiple YouTube records, it broke YouTube, period. The music video was the first to receive over 8 billion views on the platform, and the numbers kept on rising. In December of 2014, some two and a half years after Gangman Style was uploaded, YouTube was forced to make changes to its code in order to keep up. We never thought a video would be watched in numbers greater than a 32-bit integer. But that was before we met Psy, a spokesman told NME. Gangnam Style has been viewed so many times we have to upgrade. According to Guinness World Records, Gangnam Style, which at the time of this recording has been viewed more than 4.4 billion times, quickly became the most liked video ever, as well as the most viewed. Of course, records are made to be broken. Despite these astronomical figures, Psy is no longer the king of YouTube. In 2017, Gangnam Style was dethroned by Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth's See You Again, the super popular tribute to late actor Paul Walker. Psy, I'm not an Adele. In December 2015, Psy released his long-awaited seventh studio album, Chiljip Saida. Aware it would be nearly impossible to top his previous record, the musician reportedly felt immense pressure to succeed and fell into a dark depression. I'm not Adele he told Entertainment Weekly at the time. After Gangnam Style, I was really happy, but sometimes I was not happy because that's my lifetime biggest song and I'm not going to top that song forever. For a while, I kind of felt a little bit of pressure, like, how can I top that one? Sai added. I thought about being me, not the Gangnam guy or whatever. I was focused on finding myself. Though the album didn't top his past successes stateside, Psy's new K-pop singles were very well received at the 2015 Mnet Asian Music Awards. Psy founded his own record label. In 2018, Psy parted ways with YG Entertainment after eight years with the company. YG gave Psy its full blessing, affirming that the close relationship that existed between the company and its former artists would continue forever, regardless of a contract. YG also hinted that Psy could be starting his very own label now that he was free to do so, and that's exactly what he did. 
In January 2019, Cy launched P Nation, which he promised would be a playground for passionate players chasing their dreams. The idea of creating his own record label is one that Cy had been flirting with for a while, but he chose to bide his time. Thanks to the massive crossover success of bands like BTS, interest in K-pop was at an all-time high, meaning that the time was finally right for Psy to strike out on his own. Speaking to Billboard that April, the Gangnam Style singer, said that he was ready to share everything he'd learned with the next generation of K-pop stars. That was it for today's video. And if you find it useful, hit the like button. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from our channel.